Good morning. This is a new day. And His mercies are new every morning. And greetings to all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that this day shall be a great day of experiencing God's very special grace and mercies. I would like to meditate with you for a few minutes about our Jehovah. In the Old Testament, he was known as Yahweh, Jehovah God. And he is a God of impossibilities. That is what I want to meditate with you this morning. When God is on the move, anything can happen. Is anything too hard for the Lord? The answer is no, nothing is too hard for the Lord. And God always operates in the impossible situation. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 and Luke chapter 1 verse 37. Read these passages and in support of what I just mentioned. God promises, promised Abraham and Sarah a son. And then he waited. He waited until it was absolutely impossible for them to have one. Sarah, Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90 years old. And then suddenly Isaac was born. He is a God of impossibilities. And after a few years, God again commanded Abraham to take his one and only son whom he loved so much dearly and offer him as a burnt offering to show his love for Yahweh God which he did and all of us are very well um, uh, know what really happened and then God planned the coming of John the Baptist the forerunner to Messiah, Jesus Christ. He looked for an eligible couple and found Zechariah and Elizabeth, both old and um, their reproductive organs was as good as dead. And that is when God visited Zechariah by sending an angel and conveyed to him that God heard their prayer. That means even though they were old, they were still hoping that Jehovah God will do a miracle. And so they continued to pray. And the angel said, God has heard their prayers and that his wife Elizabeth was going to bring forth a son. And uh, it happened in the temple and after his term was over, Zechariah left for his home and suddenly Elizabeth became pregnant. In her old age, nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. And then John the Baptist was born. And then came the fullness of time when the Messiah was to be born. He was to be born miraculously through the partnership of a human and a divine effort. It was actually a venture of the divine and the human cooperation. God has planned a very ordinary birth, but miraculously conceived. In the womb of an ordinary, yet an innocent and a pure woman. And God looked for such a young woman among the purest and poor among all the poorest, poorest of poor as well. Extraordinary, 
that woman was in complete surrender and the commitment to the message that the angel Gabriel brought to her and though it was so hard for her to difficult uh, for to believe and accept everything the final answer to of mary to the to the angel was according to your word let it happen to me she couldn't understand how she was going to conceive unless she was with a man and sleep with a man and she never intended she was pure in her heart and until uh, she would get married with uh, joseph she was not going to know a man and uh, here is again then came the time for mary to conceive and she brought forth jesus the son of god born of a virgin mary then came the time for the son of god to die as a sacrificial death it has to be an extraordinary death his body had to be broken without a single bone be broken every drop of blood had to be shed without a single bone broken it has to be a violent death the death on a cross only a worst kind of criminal would be crucified on a tree the cross such a criminal would be considered as a curse and according to the word of god jesus christ by submitting himself to be crucified and die like a worst criminal what was he doing he became curse for us that we may be set free and delivered from the curses of sin the claims of jesus the religious re leaders could not accept and endorse causing rejection of jesus christ by his own people and the religious leaders because he did not arrive according to their expectation he did not act and behave according to their fancy he associated himself with the sinners prostitutes publicans poor and rejected and despised people of the society which was not acceptable to the religious leaders the pharisees and the sadducees and the doctors of the law his teachings were revolutionary thus he was handed over to the romans as a criminal worthy of death it was the climax of a cosmic battle started even before the creation of man and through him the humanity itself ended when the son of god jesus christ gave himself to death on a cross no bone was broken blood oozed out of at least eight or nine vital parts of his body the holy and pure son of god despised and rejected by men 
for whom for our sake for you my friend and for me surely he took upon our infirmities i would like you to listen to the description that isaiah the prophet gave in his prophecy concerning the suffering messiah he said and he carried our sorrows but for whom for our sake but he was pierced for our transgressions he was crushed for our iniquities the punishment that brought peace to us was upon him by his wounds we are healed and that my friends is both spiritual emotional mental and physical healing and the most important of them all is the spiritual healing we have sinned we have turned rebels and turned to our own way isaiah says again continues and the lord laid on him the iniquity of us all your iniquity and my iniquity and the, and every member of a human race he brought forgiveness salvation eternal life to us all by reconciling us to god against whom we have sinned and they became enemies of god and so by bringing salvation and forgiveness and redemption to all of us by this extraordinary person the son of god himself giving himself to be crucified and then hung on a cross thus becoming curse for us to set us free from all the curses of a sin and to bring redemption to us and reconciliation between us and god and thus today we have a peace with god For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life This my friend is the cost that God paid in order to provide that forgiveness and the salvation and eternal life to all who choose to believe in the son of god jesus christ and acknowledge him as our lord and savior and confess him as our redeemer and submit ourselves to his lordship and may the lord bless you this morning even as you surrender your life to the lordship of jesus that you may serve him love him worship him and get ready to meet him who is coming soon even if you die at his coming for the church you shall be resurrected and receive your resurrected and and receive your resurrection and heavenly body to live with him in heavenly places forever and ever May the Lord bless you as you take this step and go forward with it. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters and probably even unsaved people who heard this message or who will hear this message. Open their eyes, O Lord, and give them strength and determination to acknowledge you as their only and one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the Son of God who became curse for us 
that we may be set free god bless you as you serve him this is a wonderful day and have a good day and enjoy living for him amen